Hey cool people, I'm Nick and he him and we're gonna get the ultimate weapon in Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Initially you have to make the first 30 items from the Moogle, which I have a guide for that already, linked in the card here. Feel free to check that out and then come back. Once you've done that, items 31, 32, and 33 will be unlocked, 33 being ultimate weapon, which requires 5 Thunder Gems, which are dropped by Screwdivers and Aqua Tanks in Atlantica. Or, if you get 3 charges with Bambi in Deep Jungle, aka defeating 18 enemies, we have a 20% chance to get a Thunder Gem, even though if it's 3rd charge because a High Potion will drop as well. Next is 5 Mystery Goo, dropped by White Mushrooms, Black Fungus, and Rare Truffles. Best found in Halloween Town because all three spawns are there. From White Mushrooms in the Graveyard, Mystery Goo drops at 20% if we do the same magic three times, and at 10% if we mix and match. Shiver means cast Fire, Fanning means cast Blizzard, The Light Above Their Head means cast Thunder, and Spinning means cast Arrow. Moonlit Hill has the Black Fungus, we have a 20% chance to get a Mystery Goo if we defeat them with a combo finisher. And as for Rare Truffles on the bridge, at 10 hits there's a 20% drop, at 50 hits there's 40% drop, and at 100 hits there's a 100% drop. Here's also a list of all their spawns in case you want to fight them elsewhere. Next is 3 Serenity Power, which is from Pink Agaragus in Deep Jungle. I have another video for 100 hits that I'll link at the end, but broad strokes. As long as you have at least 14 MP, the more the better. Cast Aurora or Aroga on yourself, and can get off 3 casts of Ragnarok with 2 full 3 hit combos in between, you'll definitely get the 100 hits. But more importantly, it isn't necessary. Serenity Power drops at 10% for 40, 50, and 60 hits, 20% for 70, 80, and 90 hits, and then 100% for that 100 hits and they stack, so we could get 7 drops in one try. Next is 3 Stormy Stone, which can be collected from Neo Shadow in Linked Worlds at End of the World. Bamar's Arkham the whole time, and you win! And lastly, 3 Dark Matter, which can be collected from many different places, but it can also be synthesized. 1 Dark Matter requires 9 Lucid Shards, best collected from Wonderland Bizarre Room Floor, specifically if 10 Shadows show up around the table, because we can fight 30 of them before the Gigas Shadow spawn. 1 Gale, from beating up Invisibles and or Angel Stars in Linked Worlds at the End of the World. And lastly, two Mithril, which you may already have plenty of, but we can also synthesize them with five Mithril Shard collected from chests, dropped by pot spiders, or we can get two or more charges with Bambi and End of the World, Deep Jungle World Terminus being my personal favorite. Then one Mithril Stone, which is dropped from the Pot Scorpion in the Palace Gates of Agrabah, block its attacks, then Ars Arcanum it, and I don't recommend using Aroga because it will just prolong the fight. And last, one Mystery Goo, which, hey, we've already covered. Once all that's been collected and crafted, you'll have made Ultima Weapon. I hope this helped. Feel free to click on one of these videos for more Kingdom Hearts content. Have a great day. Goodbye!